Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit and another episode of What Are We Eating? Lasagna. Everyone loves it. The never-ending layers of tender pasta, ooey gooey cheese, and zesty meat sauce bake the bubbling golden brown perfection. It's hearty, it's comforting, and it's delicious. But like most things in life, it takes time to make. And with everyone's busy schedules, there just isn't enough time in the day. So we have to reach for something quick and easy, and with today's choices in the frozen food aisle, sometimes it's simply hard to choose between brands. So I picked up one of my personal favorites, Stouffer's Lasagna with Meat Sauce. And one I haven't tried before, Great Value's Lasagna with Meat Sauce. I want to see how the newer and less expensive Great Value Lasagna stands up to the very delicious and very good quality Stouffer's Lasagna. Great Value's Lasagna with Meat Sauce is meat sauce layered between lasagna pasta with mozzarella, cottage, and parmesan cheeses. This is the 12-ounce serving that costs $1.97. Now for the ingredients list, it's still fairly long, but not nearly as long as some of the other ones we've had recently. And there are some fillers in here, like whey and hydrolyzed soy protein. Which in most applications, I personally don't care for the texture of the soy protein. And now for the nutrition facts, and the serving size is the whole tray. There's 420 calories, 16 grams of total fat, 8 grams of saturated fat, 1 gram of the very bad trans fat, 5 grams of the good monounsaturated fat, 50 milligrams of cholesterol, 790 milligrams of sodium, 1,270 milligrams of potassium, 48 total carbohydrates, 5 grams of fiber, 13 grams of sugar, and 21 grams of protein. From the time I bought it, it has about a six month shelf life. It comes in one of the flimsy cardboard containers, not one of the sturdy black ones. Not really a big deal. There's conventional oven directions and microwave oven directions. I'm gonna do it the lazy way and do it in the microwave. It says to cut a two inch slit in the plastic. But I'm a rebel, I don't follow directions. I'm just gonna poke it with a fork. Then it says to heat on high for six to seven minutes and then let it rest for one minute. After cooking for six and a half minutes and resting for another minute, our lasagna was done. And this flipping plastic would not come off. I tried, and I tried, and it kept ripping or the flimsy container kept bending where I couldn't rip it off. Once I got to a certain point where I was getting ready to lose my ever living mind, to the point my meds wouldn't even have helped. I got a knife and I cut it. This little piece of plastic was harder to get off than the liquid gold in the Velveeta cheesy bowls. Even Jethro couldn't have gotten this off. It's almost like these companies are toying with us, like they want us to be able to heat up the food, but not eat it. Once I finally got the plastic off, I had to check and make sure it was safe to eat, and it was at 165 degrees. And it definitely smelled pretty good, but it didn't look like a whole lot in the tray. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. The pasta was cooked perfectly. It wasn't mushy and it wasn't firm. Just right. But other than the noodles and the okay sauce, that was about all I had good to say about this. There's more meat and cheese in a vegan dinner than there was in this. Very disappointing. But for $1.97, what do you expect? Overall, it was an okay edible meal. Not great, but not horrible either. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd have to give it a 4.5. Now onto the tried and true Stouffer's Lasagna with Meat Sauce, which is a freshly made pasta layered between a rich meat sauce and topped with real mozzarella cheese. No preservatives and 100% freshly grated mozzarella. This is the Stouffer's 10.5 ounce serving that goes for $2.08. And now for the ingredients. I've been eating Stouffer's Lasagna for a long time and I never realized the quality of their food. I've always enjoyed it and thought it was delicious. But this list of ingredients really impresses me. I can pronounce every single ingredient. There's no ingredients with numbers or symbols. And the list of ingredients is very short. They're all very simple everyday ingredients. And also if you look at the bottom of the box, you'll see that Stouffer's has one of the longest best buy dates that I've seen on any of the food that I've reviewed recently. And now for the nutrition facts. And again, the serving size is the whole container. There's 350 calories, 12 grams of total fat, 6 grams of saturated fat, 0.5 grams of trans fat, 40 milligrams of cholesterol, 820 milligrams of sodium, 
40 grams of carbohydrates, 3 grams of fiber, 6 grams of sugar, and 20 grams of protein. Now Stouffer's has the more familiar black sturdy tray. Let's just hope that the plastic comes off easier or I may just lose my mind. Now I'm supposed to cut a slit again and that's what I'm going to do this time. Then it goes into the microwave on high for 4 minutes. After microwaving on high for 4 minutes, I'm supposed to remove the plastic. Thankfully, this plastic came right off. Then it goes back into the microwave at 50% power for 4 more minutes. After cooking for a total of 8 minutes and resting for another 2 minutes, our Stouffer's lasagna is done. And you can immediately smell the difference. This one smells really, really good. This one seems a little soupier than normal. But I've got to say, I've never had one of the Stouffer's this small. I usually get like the family size. So I don't know, maybe that's why it's soupier. Who knows? But the taste, it was just really good. And as you can see, there's pretty good sized pieces of meat and there's quite a bit of it. And there's a decent amount of cheese as well. And the noodles were a little bit firmer than I like. It just seems like they're a little bit undercooked. But for 11 cents more than the Great Value brand, this is light years better. More flavor, more cheese, and more meat. On a scale of 1 to 10, this Stouffer's gets a strong 7. I do think the bigger family and party sizes are even better. Thank you all very much for watching. Definitely get the Stouffer's over the great value 10 out of 10 times. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.